Sorry about that. Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. I pray everybody had a good Sabbath. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rise and face Jerusalem. Uh, sisters, make sure your head covers. Of course, brothers uncovered. Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you for another day which you've allowed us to see and the many blessings you've bestowed upon us, Father God. Father God, we pray for those that are sick and those that are shut in, Father, that you would heal them quickly and speedily, Father. For our brothers and sisters in this captivity, Father, that are struggling with their sins, Father, that you would help them to overcome, that you would give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to teach and lead and guide your people, Father. And Father God, we pray, our Father, of heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All praises, all praises, Israel. Uh, shalom again. Welcome back uh, to our class, Wake Up Jacob, uh, this Sunday morning. Um, I'm Captain Naom. Captain Rama. Officer Micah. Officer Lyon. Officer Ram. All praises, all praises. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the class. Um, like uh, Officer was pray saying his prayers, we're praying for all our brothers and sisters that's uh, sick shut in, you know, um, need financial assistance, you know, all these things, you know, the most I will look out for us, all right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with this claimer. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plot to cause harm or any uh, cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus chapter five and verse one. All praises, all praises. So. Now you understand, we love our people, all right? So, let's get right into the class. So today's topic we're going to talk about, don't ignore God, all right? And, you know, it's coming from a, a mindset of our people, intentionally, some of them, okay, don't ignore God, but through the things of this world, it teaches them and guides them in ignoring God. You understand? Um, I'm going to read the definition of ignore. All right. It says, refuse to take notice of or acknowledge, disregard in, intentionally, uh, fail, fail to consider something significant. Synonyms, reject, neglect, uh, overlook, uh, Avoid. So that's the understanding, of, that's the definition of ignore. All right. So it's an intentional act, but our people are intentionally ignoring God, per se. It's these things that's given to us, what's uh, leading them away from God. All right. So go to Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1. All right. It's something that they're lacking. All right. So that was the definition for ignore. And then we go get the definition for ignorant. Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of God and could not and, and could not out of the good thing that are seen, know him that is. Neither by 
considering the works, did they acknowledge the work, the workmaster? Right. So it's showing us that man, all men by nature are vain. All right. The thoughts, the inventions, everything that, that they come up with is vain. All right. Because it's in the, in the scripture is telling you they don't consider who the true maker of everything is. Who is the one that put man on the earth? Who the one that made the trees? Everything, everything that we see here today on earth, they forget about the maker. And they think as, you know, we go to Esau, that they are God. That they they the ones that have the knowledge. They invented all these things. All right. They playing with the science and so on and so forth. Right. But our people are ignorant of God, right? Because the things that they are being given, all right, like sports, we're going to touch on that a bit today, all right? Your actors, all these different things, they're given avenues that distract them from seeking God, basically, all right? Um, it says, ignorant, uh, lacking of knowledge, unlearned, uninformed, unaware. So that's mainly our people. They're unaware. All right, they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because the Most High has risen the prophets back up, and now we're here to teach and show them. You know what I'm saying? So now they really don't have an excuse. But in the, the whole makeup of it, they don't know God. You know what I'm saying? They haven't been taught God. Our leaders today, our so-called leaders today, uh, which is the world, our politicians that look like us, that are in these seats of authority, do they really look out for us? No, because the whole politics system is a pile of tricks is deceit is lies they tell you what you want to hear so they can get your vote you understand and then do nothing they get their check and go on about their business all right the reason why they can come and tell you lies be the reason why they can tell you lies because you hate the truth right right that's why lies is is that's what being um uh, deceptive or being deceived is it's a little lie I mean, a little truth and a whole bunch of lies. So the whole thought is defiled. So our people hate it, when, even when you understand Isaiah 30 and 9. It said you love smooth words. Right. You hate the truth. You hate being corrected. You hate being rebuked for your wicked ways because you don't want to change. Change comes with responsibility. And what the um, the captain is going into is heavy. It's, a, it's the way we think. We got to change our perspective on how we go about things and go about life. And this Bible is the psychology, is the, the, the spiritual healing for our people because you in a spiritual slump right now because you done heap men to yourself that's teaching you nothing but lies and trying to get dishonest gain from you and making merchandise of you. Right. You know, that's when these politicians, they, it's funny that when the politicians come to the church and speak, they always talk about um, our captivity, how we destroyed us. Even Donald Trump did it. You know what I'm saying? So all these politicians know they are called trigger words. Right, right. Something that to get your attention. It's like they are talking to a, a large audience. They talk to one side, and then they, they use another trigger words to get your attention. Now I'm talking right, to you. I'm it. not talking that's to them it. right now. Right. I'm talking to you. Right. So that's how you make direct contact. Mm -hmm. That That's called public public speaking right. versus, uh, right. uh, um, uh, uh, what you call it, um, what they call it, uh, interpersonal communication. That's when somebody have a conversation with just you, one person, back and forth. But publicly speaking, they gotta learn to break that down to make sure that everybody is uh is involved and in, they they gather their attention. Cap, when they go to your hoods, they talking to you and your needs for your your community, so on and so forth. When they go to the other side of town, they talking to them and their needs, so on and so forth. Right. You know? These are master these are master musicians, magicians. You know what I'm saying? They are professional liars. That's what we call it. But they could go into control tactics as well. Right, right, right. Witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Right. All these type of things that we overlook through our ignorance because we ignore it. We want to be lied to. Right. A, a, a person that's uh um um, not in shape or something like that. She wants somebody to tell her that she's nice. So she even, she know what she got to do, but she afraid of the responsibility. Right. The hard work. The, yeah, the hard work, the pain of growing. Nobody want to do that. So you rather heap men to you. That's why a lot of these professionals and athletes, entertainers, they have a, a, a thing, a, a entourage right. around them called right. yes men. Right. Tell me I look good. Right. Tell me I'm right. right. Tell me I'm the best thing smoking. 
We call it a hype man as well. Right, right. right. Looking but like a clown coming out the. A clown. Indian. You got yellow hair on one side, red on the other, looking like dog on Ronald McDonald. Right. And you want and you want people to make you feel like you sane. <laughs> Say he got it. They, they, yes, man. Yes, you. You. you fi- that's, that's different, fire. bro. You right. unique, bro. You special. Right. Nobody's like you. Yeah, nobody's sane is like you. Right. Nobody's saying it's like you. Go to, um, I want to pre-sell real quick. Go to um, Matthew 22 and 9. This is right here just, right, this right here is just in a nutshell what the captain is going to, going into, and let's see what Christ said. Because ignorance is bliss. Right. Christ came said, I have came on earth and died and been a sacrifice for the children of Israel. Right. Why? That you have no cloak for your sins. Don't think when you die and you you know it's time for judgment, you're gonna razz and dazzle the most high. You know you're not. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, and verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways. 22 and 29. I'm sorry. Oh, 22 and 29. If I said nine, just put a two in front of it. The book of Matthew, chapter 22, and verse 29. Jesus answered and said unto them. Ye do err, not not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Right. We we from two. It's two things on why you're doing what you're doing. It's either because you err, not knowing the scriptures, or you don't know the power of God. Right. And we see every day that our people don't they they don't understand neither one. Right. At all. They don't know the scriptures. They they tangle and wrestle with Paul's writing. How are you gonna read the book in a halfway? And then think you got to understand a full book. Right. How you gonna come in in, in a, a movie that's is full of suspense and just say I got to put it together? Right, right, right. No, you gotta watch it from the the, the beginning to understand the conflict and, and the know, climax of the movie. You know, Jake, they like to uh, start at the end of the book, Revelations, right? Our right. letters, allegories, and a whole bunch of stuff, and that's you get most of that right. at the beginning of the book. Right, right. right. Be like they they read the uh, Revelation said it and it had a mindset like I want to see how the world gonna end. Right. I want to see what the world is going to You don't know nothing in there. Right, at all. You know, it's it's like our people at this time in Israel, they knew they was Jews. They knew they was Israel. Right. And when Christ came and he still had to in, enlighten or break down precepts of them mm-hmm. to catch them up to speed because they didn't know. And just imagine now you've been in captivity for centuries. And you think you just going to open this Bible and you got it? Right. You don't know the power of God. At all. You don't understand the scriptures because obviously you don't understand the scriptures when you say God laws are done away with. God loves everybody. You can eat what you want to eat. God loves the sin. He hates the sinner. I mean, he hates the sin, but love the sinner. Right. That's not in the Bible. At all. That's not biblical. And you don't understand the power of God. The most I would jack you up and put you to death for playing with his word. You don't understand these things. So they're just going into what the captain is saying. I just wanted to put a priest up on it. Oh, praise. That's on point. That's on point. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to keep it going. Let's go to Mark 4 and 19. Because a lot of these things, as we saw last week, uh, was it last week? Bucci. Bucci, yeah. Bucci, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, these are the people that our, our people look up to. You know what I'm saying? The faces that Esau has put in front of us to keep us confused, ignoring God, ignorant. You see what I'm saying? Uh, read that. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of, of other things entering in, choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. So this is like the four types of Israelites, this parable going into. And it says, and the cares of the world and deceitful lusts of riches. The world dictates to you, our people, the world itself, what's uh, the standard, what's uh, acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's beauty? What's 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 uh, what's middle, popular? What's popular? Right? Yeah. What's popular? You know, uh, middle income, poverty, wealthy. All they dictate everything. Right. You know the fashion of this world. You know what I'm saying? They dictate these things which in turn uh, controls our, uh, what's the, uh, gears our people's mind 
to go in that path. Like All right? Sheep. Like sheep, that's right. Like, uh, when you go online and you see a lot of various posts mm-hmm. that are exposing certain things, and people get mad and they'll say, you're, sh- you're sheeple. You're sheeple, meaning you're easily led astray. Right, right, right. Gullible. That's on point, though, because I remember Bishop did a class a while back, and he, he showed the video with the, the, the shepherd and the sheep. Pretty much. Right. Right. And that's heavy because she we, we easily <laughs> we easily um led, as you said. You know what I'm saying? And these things Esau makes stuff look good. You know what I'm saying? The the, the glitter and the Enticing. fame and the glitz and right, you know what I'm saying? Science to to it how he do everything. Right, right. And it's it's it has our people minds, basically. It has our people minds, you know what I'm saying? Um so go to Matthew six and twenty four. And I want to say some more that um on that you done with that uh, yes, Mark four? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, that Mark four. What read where you was at again? Oh no, I ain't, he didn't uh, finish it. You want to finish it? Oh, finish it. Mark four. Mm-hmm. Mark four. Well, yeah, you read it. No. Yeah, four not yet. This is the book of Mark, chapter four and verse nineteen, mm-hmm. and the cares of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. It says, and the lust of other things enter in. And we're going to get that later as far as the riches of this world. Uh, it basically is telling you that other things would, is attached to those riches. It's attached to the sins, this world, and what they give you. You know what I'm saying? If you if you uh, NBA player, you go end up m- maybe more than likely trying to do what get married to an Edomite. <laughs> All right, because in your mind you think that you've made it in this aspect of life. To top it off, I need to make it in this aspect of life, and that's marrying an Edomite. That's the mindset that we've adopted. Okay, you got something? You know what's, what's funny, Cap? Um, in my job, my field, I work around the sports industry and there's a uh a particular coach that i work with and he used to he used to be in um the pros Mm -hmm. and so he said um and i think it was like the minor leagues but anyway even then he said that when they would go to the motels he said basically when when it was during the season they'll go through the season they'll be in the motels all they had time for was to go get something to eat go work out, go back to sleep, then practice and get ready for the game. So that's how they week went. He said, when you go to the motels, it would be women up and down the, down the, the halls waiting for them. So they, when these brothers go to these hotels, especially, you know, the NBA and whatever, right, other, right. I'm pretty sure they have some high price, whatever, you know, gold digger right. there waiting for them. Escort, yeah. call, girl, whatever yeah. name you want to label them. So, yeah, that's, that's what they exposed to. Yeah. That's on point. That's on point. I'm, I'm glad you brought this precept out, Cap, because it's heavy and it's paramount until where when you when we're dealing with our people. Because when you read this, it gives you a breakdown of the spirits. It gives you the the spirit of because what this going into is talking about the two thirds and the one third, and it giving you the um the seed or the or the um the seed that fell on stony grounds, fell by the wayside. Or on on the good grounds. Right, right. To what to our people who say that we don't know you, this scripture right here said we do know you. Right. You're gonna fall into one of these categories. Right, right. You're not that unique as you think. Right. You didn't deceive yourself. You got <laughs> your your false hype man on the side of you talking about you the the, the best things in sliced bread. Right. You right. feel out the you feel out the um the heavens. You like man on there, fell out the heavens. Right. Like you knew you a new thing on the earth. You're not. Right, right. You fall into one of these categories right here. That's right. right. So therefore you can be judged. That's all it's saying. But what sin, what temptation, what lust you're gonna fall in, it's a plethora of those things right. can can, right. can 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 choke God's word in you. Right. It can be money, it can be fame, it can be a, a host of things. It can be you just I love my car, you're a part of a motorcycle club. Right. It doesn't it's a lot of host of things that can choke the word out of you. Right. That you are affiliated with. Because the thing is, you putting that before right. the most high. God. Right. We're talking about Expression. sports and entertainment right now, but 
You pick your poison. Family. <laughs> you uh, pick your poison. Your job. Right. You know, it's a uh, host of stuff. Hey, Cap, I got a precept. Um, uh, Proverbs 23 and 4 to back up what you just said. I'll read it real quick. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 4. And this is what the Most High God says. He says, labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. And that's the goal in accordance with what you just brought out. You know, that the Most High God tell you, you're not supposed to labor to be rich. So all your NBA players, your NFL players, if, if, that's, if you're doing what you're doing and you're chasing the money to be rich, that's the you 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 following after another god. You chasing after another god, you know. So that's that's to bring out to back up, which I was bringing out on that. Read on. Verse five. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as eagle as an eagle toward heaven. You see that. When you get that money, it's going to turn into, like, pride. You're going to be too un- – you, you're going to be high-minded. You know what I'm saying? Right. To where riches is good if there is no sin. Right. But every way that our people are getting money, it have sin involved. Right. We're not saying riches is wrong. No, it's not. You know, so it's nothing wrong with that. You had Solomon, he was rich. Right. right. You had a lot of our forefathers that was rich. Right. But they did it in a way that was godly. Right. You understand? But a lot of our people saying get rich or die trying. Right. That means there's no discretion on you on, on how you're gonna get your money. Right, right, you're right. gonna break the Sabbath. You're gonna you're gonna harm or rob your people. It's just I gotta get money at all costs. Right, right. And that's what it's telling you. Why is you doing? Why is your mindset like that? Riches are within. You gotta be rich with wisdom. Right. That's why when you read in Ephesians, it's tell you be rich with wisdom. Be rich in charity. Right. That's right. how you know you've been deceived. Everything you've been taught has been upside down. It's not of the Bible. Right. And even on the natural side, you know, it said, you know, uh, money's a defense. You know, a defense right, for right. what? Poverty to help thy neighbor, you know, things like that, thy nation. So it's yeah. a defense, not for, you know, self, you know, self gain. And that's crazy that you say that because a lot of our people not even uh, at the point spiritually, physically, and emotionally mentally to even handle uh finances of that 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 caliber that, that nature right. Right. yeah because it'll be gone that's that that's that's why they say a lot of the people that that win the lottery lottery they they lose it within what the first four or five years they in worse yeah. condition and, yeah and even the, what we're talking about entertainment entertainers uh athletes they money be gone too yes 90 percent of them they money gone you yes, know, you, you got the few like a Kobe or, or uh, uh, LeBron or Michael Jordan or uh, Shaq, certain men right. that have invested their money in startups, so on and so forth, that, yeah, they, they left with something. But most of them, they broke. And because and of, because a lot of them, you know, um, are like mainly like Kobe Bryant, and they attract so many people because of their gift right, yes, or sir. their talent. So they have no choice but to do something. But the average player don't have those opportunities. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the, the touch on what, what has been said, uh, why a lot of people go poor, I mean, go broke after they hit the lottery, because being poor is a state of mind. That's what poor is. Poor has been a state of mind, because no matter what you think about it, it's going to revolve back to being poor and, and bad habits. Right, right. And a lot of these young men, they have a lot of, they've been taught a lot of bad habits growing up. You know what I'm saying? So they that rolls over into their professional life. They just so happen to, to make money. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But they only hope was playing basketball because sometimes sports was therapeutic for our people to take them away from a horrible conditions that they're in. And it, it's many things. Like, we're talking about sports, but you may see the, the, the local drug dealer, and you look at him to be esteemed, and that's the path I want to take. You know what I'm saying? That's the path for destruction as well. It's the same thing. You're going to end up in jail or dead, one of the two. Right. You know? A lot of people that's mentally damaged, they feed on the weak. They feed because that's the only way they get self-esteem through through people with low self-esteem. You understand? And that's the that's it, it's a um a, um a devour. You know what I mean? It eat. You know what I mean? A, um a doggy dog world. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use you because I don't want to be down there, so I'm gonna use you to keep me afloat. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about because money. If you don't, I think money getting money should be a prerequisite to um you have to have. 
good social skills. You got to learn how to deal, be able to deal with people. A lot of times people with money don't know how to deal with people. They just get money. Now I got the money. I got the power. So everything goes the way I like it. Yeah, just, My way or the highway. Whatever spirit they're rolling in, they just puff that spirit up too. That's you know right. I, mean, I work with pharmacists, bro. I, they make $100,000 a year, man, but they have no social skills. Right. That's what school teaches you. Just to be crap, just to be um, tunnel vision in your profession, in your line of work, and you, and you know nothing else. Right. Ain't no different from these athletes. They don't right. just know basketball. They don't know nothing else. Right. They don't have social skills. They don't know how to interact with people. Matter right. of fact, they don't even know their emotions. They don't know how to be sad. They don't know what to be sad about, what to be happy about, what to. That's why when they can easily cry now. Oh, everybody's crying now? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They cry. Right. Oh, can I feel some type of way about my people dying, but nobody else is crying. So uh, do I have the wrong emotions right now? Right. They confuse. Then guess what they do? They turn to drugs. Right. They turn to alcohol. Right. They turn, they, they they become antisocial. Right. They be just, they become a prisoner to their own fame. Become Lamar Odom. Right. They have these emotions, and because your emotions are like signals to let to indicate something that's not right or something a, a change of heart. Right. And when their heart changes, and they just like, what do I do? I feel this. Right. But the world is telling me to be numb to it. A lot of these right. athletes, they hurt. Because they want to say something, but they told shut up and play ball. That's right. And that's where your whole desire is to be rich and fame and fortune. You're gonna lose your, You're gonna lose a lot of uh, of yourself because now you become public property. That's what you become. So that's what we're going over right now. To where sometimes you gotta you gotta count the cost, and we don't know how to count the cost. And that's what we're trying to show our people the Bible to where how you evaluate things, how you put your life in in perspective to say I'm gonna lose this and I'm gonna gain that. Is it worth it? Right. You never been taught to make critical decisions in your whole life. You just been you just learn to numb the pain and just make money and just go buy all the flashy things. A lot of times, most of the broke hearted people they like to be seen, they like to have flash, they like to have a loud hair. That's why the the um the sodomites like that. You know what I mean? Because they've been they've been put to the side and hid in the corner so long, they just say, you know what the hell with? I'm wearing the, the loudest hair and the most flamboyant walk. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, years yeah, ago, it, it, yeah. y'all go see me. It right. was in the dark. That's, that's why right. it's coming out the closet. You know what I'm saying? Like now, right when they came out right. the closet, they had all yellow and red on. Right, pretty much. And and that's me. And pink. And it's crazy that you say that, Cap. Because and other tropical colors. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy that you say that, Cap. Because um, growing up, I listened to a, a, a wide variety of music. And one of the music that I listened to was rock and roll. Music country was rock. Rock, rock and roll. I listened to he rock and roll. He told me it blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and so you have he had dreads. He was banging his head. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you have, you yeah. have. He, he came. Well, he came to Houston with uh, uh Advil. That's why you had Advil. He said, "Man, I listen to rock. I bang my head. I get headaches all the time." <laughs> the the reason I said that the reason I said this is to touch on what Captain said is about those that are hurting with inside. So you have groups in these cer- certain circles. Northern Kingdom is real big into rock music. And you have groups, yeah, Northern Kingdom, real big into it. Uh, you have groups that, like you said, they color their hair, the punk rockers. They color their hair. They wear the flamboyant clothes with all the spikes and all that yeah. stuff like that. Yep, yep. And they 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 in, they smoke a lot of weed and use drugs and stuff like that. That's to numb that pain, that whatever that they're feeling inside. They call it they called it teen angst. Meaning it's a way of they express themselves through their anger and their music. So like you said, they don't know how to express themselves, so they put on the flashy clothes. They wear the, uh, they uh, they call them, when we was growing up, they called them emo. Remember? You had the one with the black, they had a black, black fingernail finger polish and stuff I mean, like that. The, I mean, anyway, the gothic, 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 with them jingo yeah, pins. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn. It was because they Remember them jingo pins? They call them emo. Is that jingle yeah, pins yeah, yeah. I'm they talking about? Jingle pins. But they call them emo. The big old parachute pins. Right, 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 like right. Cover <laughs> their holes. You can't even see their <laughs> right, feet, bro. Right, right, right. The they just dragging. Right, right. No, they, they eat saw bell bottoms. Some of them did. Some of them did. Nah, they, but uh, I, they kiss bell bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought it Merlin out to. Merlin Manson bell bottoms. <laughs> 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 but I brought it out to, to highlight the point that you made about how Jake wear the 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 uh different color hair. Because remember, originally the punk rock music started with us. It was mostly uh, the so-called blacks 
in uh, the late seventies and the early eighties, they were the punk rock bands. I didn't know that. Yeah, it mo- it, all of that really started that with us. So the the fashions and stuff was it was us making a Just political statement about they through our music, pain. through the p- oppression that we went through. Yeah, yeah. So that was the flashy clothes and uh, the different color hair. I know, and that's all what, stuff. I know how the blues start. They blues said, "Hey man, how you gonna have the blues with no pain?" Right, right. You gotta have blue. Can the I have dr- someone that dreadlocks and get the, um Jose six like and one? So, yeah. Hey, Captain, just to point on that too. This what we point out as well again is that with all these different things we're talking about, is just another element in where our people are trying to find acceptance and, and security or comfort. Mm-hmm. You know, like with the um, the the gothics and stuff. Like they don't feel like they accepted. They put on all black and the black fingernail polish. This, that, and the third. Oh my goodness! Because they don't feel accepted. You know what I'm saying? You got this group, that group. You know, y'all grew up in high school and so on and so forth, middle school, whatever. Y'all had groups and sets running around there. You know what I'm saying? Our people is about not being accepted. You know what I'm saying? That's another element of it. Right, because it's like a a, a cat that's frightened. He's going to come out fighting. You know what right. I mean? They're right. only going to be backed in the corner for right. so long right. until they just start to lash out. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's just, that just nature. You know, and um, I just want to bring this precept out because all this stuff that we are talking about, it comes from one place. Go right. ahead. Hosea 6 and 1. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 6 and verse 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He has smitten, and he will build us up. Bind us up. Or bind us up. Right. What is going into what I want to touch on, I'm using this precept to make a point to where a lot of what you see right now, we it's called mental illness. Right, right. And what, what the Bible is saying right here. Instead of saying illness, it's saying torn. You know, and when he, how he's torn us, he gave us shame and confused our faces. Right, right. You know, we we've been put to shame. We've been broken. Our pride has been taken from us. We have no hope. When the land of our captivity, we've been beaten down. And so Rocket tells you that they has been they we have been killed like grasshoppers. Right. That mean like you been you get killed like in, um insects. Right. You know how you kill an ant and you just keep it. It don't. Yeah, your <laughs> life is worthless. It ain't conscious that you just killed an uh, ant throughout the the middle of your day. Right. You killed the roach in your house. Hell, in your mind, the roach not even supposed to be there. Right. Well, and some of y'all houses, I don't know. A roach is is supposed to be there. Hey, yeah. And then it's, it's well, no that living condition. The roach supposed to be there. It's no remembrance of it. It's no it's like it's it didn't. No mean conscious. Anything. No conscious. Right. They have no conscious to what how how they brutalize our people. That's right. That's right. And it don't affect them, but it affect the people that you are offending. Right. It affect the people that you are harming and you are putting to death. That's right. And it's a long term in effect that lasts from generations to generations that they never been healed. It's right. PTSD. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. So a lot of our people was never healed mentally. So these are the examples in the avenues and the branches of these things happen. These atrocities happen to us. Hey, Cap, what Bishop brought out, PTSS, that's what you call it? Slave syndrome. That too. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever trauma that you went through, right. you know what I'm saying? Because we never can escape the history of slavery. Right. But guess what? You still getting shot down the street. You know what I'm saying? I see my one of my good friends get shot down by the police, killed. And the, and the police always said nobody touch him. Held the ambulance back, the paramedics back, and said let him die. Right. I don't need slavery for my. I don't need slavery for that. Right. I don't have to go into the '60s. That happened in the '80s. You know, I mean, what well, the '90s? Right. Right. You know, the police used to pull guns because you don't. You're not in the inner city. You in the so-called uh uh um, you in the um, suburbs, right. you in the middle class, you in an established neighborhood, established community. You don't want to stand about what goes in the throwaways, right. the, the inner cities, what happened to our young babies. That's why a lot of these athletes, because that's where they come from. Right. That's why they play basketball, because everything you deal with, you put your emotions into it. Right. Right. That's why you. That's when you can create something, because right. you, you, you're, it's a connection to it. Channeling that energy. Right, you channeling that anger. anger. Yes, sir, you know right. what I'm saying? Instead of going to fight somebody or hurting somebody or harming and just lashing right. out, you say, I'm going to put all my anger in this basketball. Right. I'm going to put all my anger in this music. Football. And that's why a lot of these these athletes or the entertainers, they come from the inner city. Right. They come from the deep heart of the ghetto. Hey, Cap, don't forget about the woods, too, because it was a part of uh, my, my later years. I grew up in the woods. And, Jake, you be out in the middle of nowhere. And you know is you know it's racist. You can feel it. 
it's in racist the <laughs> in the it's woods. Small, yeah. country. In the small little small country town. town. Yeah, when I, when I say the woods, small little country town. Yeah. You got a grocery store, one grocery store about yeah, as big the about town. the size. Yeah, in one town, yeah. one movie you, theater. Yeah, and you know, one Walmart. Yeah, the nearest the nearest hospital Walmart. is thirty well, miles away. Have a, a, a Dollar General. Right. Right. That's a Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, the nearest hospital is 30 miles away, Walmart 30 miles away. So you in the middle of the woods. That's why a lot of them a lot of them little country towns, Jake be the stars of everything because right. like you said, that's all they got. Right. Cuz they know it's racism around them. They got these uh, invisible borders they know they can't cross. Right. They have yeah. a lot of they have a lot of um they have a lot of uh uh oppression around them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I know all these brothers, we talk, we have our own stories. That ain't right. why we hate uh, uh, we don't hate no one. We see the hate that's been perpetrated on us, right? right. That nobody wanna um vouch for, right? Acknowledge or, or speak on. It's just all right. hush hush. Right. See, I seen men get beat. I seen a lot of. I seen drugs get planted. I seen people all by law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? You know, all brothers, people, money been taken, drugs been planted on them. Police put guns on my head. You know what I'm saying? I was in, in fourth grade. Yeah, me too. And pulled it back, you know what I mean? Me and my friends, I kill all of y'all. Edomites, you know what I'm saying? White police officers in our community. They first of all, they don't belong there because they don't know how they don't have no social skills. Right. They don't know how to deal with the people. It's right. highway or the highway. Right. But that's how you've been torn. You gotta you asking for people for peace that don't even understand your pain. Right. Right. They don't right. even consider your pain. Right. You understand? So that's why it's say, um, come and let us um Return unto the Lord. He has torn. The Most High had did this. He let this. He let this demon unleash yeah. on us because of our That's wicked right. behavior. You know what I'm saying? Because of your own doing. But with how we look at it, we're not turning to punk rock. We're not turning to the blues. We're not turning to anything else because obviously the pain is still going. So you gotta turn back to the Lord, and right. that's how you're gonna tame this beast. That's right. how you're gonna put that beast back in his cage. If you are so mad, I can't. I can't shut down and turn to drugs. Why? Because that's not going to change nothing. It's not going to change anything. So what if I'm so mad and I hate my conditions, I got to repent and get my life right. right. I can't chase fame. I can't chase the, the limelight, the glitz and the glamour and things of that nature because that's not going to change nothing. At because all. trust me, these athletes and these rich people or people are well to do off, they still feeling the same thing you're doing. Oh, yeah. And when they feel sad, they just able to go to Hawaii. Right. And they have to come back and deal with it all over again. Right. It ain't nothing different. So it's all an illusion. Right. It's all an illusion. That, that Esau has, has put in our people's minds. You know what I'm saying? They tell you go to paradise. It's like, well, where's paradise? They lying right. to you, bro. You go to oh, Jamaica's paradise? Shit, it look worse. Mm. Hawaii is paradise? Okay, everything's expensive. Okay. It's so. Paradise. It's a, it's all in a lie. You know what I'm saying? Be like, right, oh right, damn, they told right. me it's paradise somewhere. Right. It ain't no paradise. It's captivity no matter where I go. Pretty you know much. what I'm saying? <laughs> you on the bottom still, no matter where you at. You know. Then when you get on the outside, you know me on, on the outside looking in, and they say the U.S. is paradise. I'm like, okay, y'all got me. Okay, y'all show sure right. East I done did the holes. <laughs> you know me trickery. Man, dang. See, right. see, go ahead. Yeah, this we gonna continue with that. Go to Matthew six and twenty four. You know, because what, what the world paints as, as like you say, paradise or what's the standard is not the standard. You know what I'm saying? But that's what's, this is what have our people confused and trying to seek out something that don't have nothing to do with them. You know? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. So the scriptures is letting us know. Christ is letting us know. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve two gods. Okay? You go love one and hate the other. You go love God or hate God, as we saw with the Bootsy yesterday. I mean, yesterday, last week. Okay? And with a lot of our brothers and sisters, because what they don't know God, that's the key thing. But the point is, this world has taught them to love money, to love being a whoremonger, to love covetousness. All these things that the scriptures teach us opposite of, they've taught us uh, that. 
What's what's the one? Lehman? Won't you come call evil good? Or if I you don't go there right quick. Because the, you know, it's the, the changing, the turning yeah. the things upside down. Yeah. That's that's what Esau has done to the minds of our people. Right. Yeah. Isaiah twenty nine. They made it, you know, enticing. thirteen through fifteen. Thank you. Yeah, they made it enticing. They right. made that's it desirable. It. I got it. You know, that's right. I lust of the eye. Thirteen. That's right. You want the precept of men or turning upside? Yeah, five and twenty. Yeah, five twenty. And 20. Amos five and twenty. Yes, sir. No, Isaiah. Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. You, you, you hear what they said? They said, woe, destruction to them. Because destruction is coming to America. That's right. Destruction is coming to those that had a hand in our captivity. A slavery, all right? It say, war unto them that call evil good and good evil. Oh, no, it's nothing wrong with, with having a, a whole bunch of women. There's nothing wrong with, uh, what, I can't think right now, uh, eating pork, right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going to the, the Muslim mosque and then going to the Christian church on Sundays. No, there's right. nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with. Uh, being a homosexual, being a homosexual, right? Being a lesbian, passing laws to right. It's nothing smoking wrong with marijuana. Right. Smoking, yeah, we make that legal, but then you still gotta go to your job and get drug tested. Like that don't make sense either. Right, right. Which they changing that too as well. So, and it just showed you that this world is wicked and evil. Mm-hmm. They're making up laws so you can be evil, so you can smoke weed. Okay, we not gonna test you no more. You good? Cap. You get the synthetic drugs. Uh, what is it called? K two. Yeah. You can't. It don't show up you in know, your system. I have. I yeah. have a memory word as a firefighter. He say, "Man, that is a dangerous drug." He too. Yes, man. That synthetic stuff. Right. He said, "People on the on the highway." I mean, on, on he said, "One dude lived on the railroad track." That might it's be what, gone, bro. what uh, Birdman was on yesterday. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness! Don't even bring him up. This brother, he back from old over the out downtown. Five, we used to go downtown. Years, yeah, five six years ago. Worse and worse. This dude rolled up something and sit there falling out on the side. Smoked it, smoked it, took a couple puffs, dropped it. He got a leather jacket on, was hot as hell. Well, it was fairly warm. He dropped it on the jacket. He there just slooping over. It's like our people are gone. Man. Zombies, bro. Zombies. Zombies. You know? And and just we have to just pull a precept for as uh just bring it back to the Most High Word, like Revelation eighteen. You know, uh, uh, spiritual Babylon. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, land of confusion. Right. That's everything Captain is saying. It's everything is, is hypocrisy. Right. It's contradicting. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you say one thing, then you say something else that, that counts out what you just already said. Mm-hmm. Just you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't understand how people can fall out this truth right now when you see all the confusion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the uh, um, the off balance. You know what right, I mean? Right. Way of thinking of policies and, and uh, how they are administrating things, how this government is ran. Right. You got a joke in the office right. running the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? Say, like, grab the woman by a crotch. When you look at the head of the states, man, the head of the United States, you got to look at integrity. You got to look at morals. You got to look at ethics. Right. Right. You got to look at standards. You got to look at principle. And you see none of that. And this is what the people have chosen. They used to stand. They used to so-called stand on that cap. So-called. At least they promoted that to the public. You know, they promoted that to the public that they were men of uh, men of integrity, men of uh, whatever. What we were taught in high school. And then now, as we get older, we starting to see they full of crap. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, you the last have? so-called good president they had was Kennedy. So-called. And I mean, they, they uh, I remember my brother, him. my brother told me, he was like, man, the corporate America, how's that? You know what I mean? It's, I said, bro, it's it's more vicious and, and, and shysty and, and a, a pit full of snakes than the hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't even Shark know. tank. Right. Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. Tank. You know what I'm saying? So if you still lost in trying to find a way in this world, you're going backwards. You right. error not knowing the scriptures or the power of God. You understand? And I wanted to say something to where, matter of fact, going back to the Matthew 6, you say serving two masters. 
that's heavy because serving two masters is, for instance, if you have a, a person, if you were thriving in this world right here, you have a you making it, you know what I'm saying, where you have to have people in the proper place to keep the standard of your business thriving right, right, right. and progressing and elevating is the word. You have a PR. You know what I mean? A person that deal with the public relations and saying, right. this is not a good look. Right. Just like they did Muhammad Ali. You know, when he was a boxing, don't say you a Muslim. Right, right, right. Yep. So don't have no faith. Don't have no principle. Esau loved that. When you don't have no principle, I can mold you how I want to mold you. You know what I'm saying? So telling him, and then and then, the, then they put that out there, then that's when everything started to attack him. He started to go the draft and everything. He he went poor. And all these things, it came down to him like a ton of bricks. Like I, I said it before and I said it again, my professor in college told me one time, and he looked me dead in my face and he was dead serious. He said, you cannot get a college degree and want to make it in life and try to change the world from the conditions that it's in. You crazy. Because I was learning the truth and I was, you know what I mean, he was Jake. I mean, he, was, he, from, he was Benjamin. You know what I mean? He was Benjamin, m intelligent. And I just told him, hey, I want to change. I want to change. Before I even really knew the truth. Right. I like, I want to change. I want to do, I want to help out the community. I want to do this and do that. He said, you're not going to do it. Now, he said, I know you didn't come to college for nothing. That's what he told me. He said, you, you must come to college for nothing. He said, because they would destroy everything you work for. This not in the 60s, y'all. Right. You know what I'm saying? This, this in the 2000s. Today. I know you. I'm not that old. You know what I'm saying? So you can't think I'm in the 40s. I pray you don't see that. Got one. Got one gray hair right there. And I know where that comes from. Come from Israel. <laughs> but. Serving two masters, what the captain brought out is that one way one will make you hate the other, because how you gonna tell an athlete that he worked all his life to get what he what he have and he can't play basketball on Saturday because it's a Sabbath. Right. You see that, mm -hmm. you know. So how can you be going to polit politics and talking about a, a um, rainbow utopia, whatever? You know what I'm saying? A vision right. to where you saying, and then on the, when you take off your your um your 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 three your suit, and yeah, on the other hand, then you talking about that guy only came for the nation of Israel. That's gonna be rough, man. That's gonna be very very difficult. So that's why you have to count the cost. Right. What do you want to even involve yourself in? Just like a, you know what I mean? Now you gotta serve two masks on a law scale to where you a sister and you dated an Edom might now have a baby. Now you like, do I have to right. throw my baby away? I right. can't do that. I'm a mother. Right. I have to love my child. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Well, guess what? I guess I can't be in the truth. Right. Chose their master. Right. These are things that's plaguing our people because we have no knowledge. That's right. That's and right. then we put ourselves in a position. Once we re once we put ourselves in a position, and then once we we receive the knowledge, then it's it becomes bitter. Right. That's the, that's, the, that's what we just read become unfruitful for you you know you reject it right all right uh go to math i mean psalms 118 verse 8 because all of this stems from what basically we'll be going over is is man you know what i'm saying we put trust confidence in that god man and we're showing you today that man calling e uh, uh evil good and good evil this is the society we live in today this is the world we live in this world is going to take you, 118, verse 8. Uh, you're going to be destroyed because of it, all right? We're trying to save your soul today. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 118 and verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Go ahead. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. You see that? In, in, in democracy. In, in anything that you, because we were talking about this yesterday, that uh, the athletes, they look up to the coaches, right. the, the, uh, the basically, basically anybody that helped them get to where they are today, with that high status, whether it be NFL, uh, NBA, whatever it is, pro baseball, 
they look to them as father figures. They look to them as as you can't hate them you know? because they say you feel like they saved your life. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You, I can't hate them. Right. Like Mike Tyson, you better not say nothing about custom model. Right, right, right. That man changed my life. That's right. Mm. My right. basketball coach, you know what I mean, gave my money for my gave my mother rent money when our lights was out. You know what I'm saying? Not all white people. Right. You can't say that. Right. God is right. not going right. to destroy not him. Right. So you will base all the the the, uh, hmm. the nations right. on that one individual that helped you. Right. But God said, I will call your enemy and treat you well. Right. And right. then and then the one that and then the one that helped you, he a part of a of a race that took everything from you that still possess everything they took from you. So that so the help that he he's giving you is in vain. It, it's false because everything every opportunity, all the money, everything he gave you does not even belong to him. It already belonged to you. Let, let me help you, Rand. Let me help you, officer. Let me help you. I got the. Listen to this. It's an investment. Pretty much, pretty much. It's an investment. They see your talent. They right. see your work. They go reap something. They say from he's it. going to the NBA. Right. And I'm gonna jump on that train. It's they a fast that, train. They see that early in you. They see that That's early. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just have to, you know what I mean? Get your mind on on one one accord with them. Right. Right. And long as you stay focused, and they they gonna do everything in their power to make sure that you don't drift off, because you're right. a cash cow. That's it. It's an investment. They want to, it's called an ROI. They looking for a return on their investment. Right. May take a little time. Yeah, it's going to take a little time. He, 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 you get there. He's, he's 16, so we're going to go for uh, all the money. We we done, we done put ourselves in the poor house, uh, Miss Peggy. You know what I'm saying? going to talk to his wife. But trust me, this nigga's going to pay off. Pretty much. That's the <laughs> conversation behind closed He's going to pay off. I know right, he is. Right, 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 right. This is my opportunity to make it in this life. <laughs> That's it. Hey. He's going to pay off. I know he is. Right. And the, the uh, 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 Four Corners News had a uh, a little thing they did the other day. Was talking about um, it was uh, from South Park and how they was basically have they speech behind the scenes of slave mass. They they still the slave masters and they on the plantation and it was funny. Yeah, whatever whatever you get a chance, you got to watch that thing. They was showing how he I was saying he was saying that. Uh, well, I I give you forty dollars for this one and fifty dollars for that one, and he was like, "This is not slavery." He said, "Oh, okay, yeah, this is not slavery." You know, joking with him because <laughs> right. he yeah. was like, "Yeah, how much money you make off these boys?" <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Because the speech behind the scenes is this is not slavery." He's, yeah, he tried know, to make them let them know that they free, but right. they really wasn't free. But they really right, wasn't right, free. Right. Yeah, it's just like wow. today with the NFL and. NBA, all these different sports outlets, they still got to go through the the uh, the the not the proper channels, but like when you know they go, they got to do the weigh in, they got to right. go through the, the real, yeah, the combine. combine. There combine. you go. You know what I'm saying? They still got to go through all that. You know what I'm saying? Proving that they worthy to be able to what play on the field. Mm. You know the slaves, the slaves went through combine too. <laughs> they <laughs> call <it> auction blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mouth, right. jump. Stretch, right. pull. This is a good one here. Look, you yeah, healthy, it's a good buck you know, right here. On. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna rake in a whole bunch of cotton. <laughs> right, pretty much. Yeah, that's a combine. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. Hey, that's the watered down version. Go right to there. You, that's the watered down you done with version. That? 18. Yeah. Jump to first seventeen. Jump, stretch, bend over. Three. That's the watered down version. This, this is the book of Psalms, chapter one eighteen and verse seventeen. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You see that? It said, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. That should be your mission on, on the earth. It's to represent the most high. And everything you do with your whole heart, just like Tobit 13, you have to come and serve the Lord with your whole heart. You can't right. come half-stepping. You can't right. come false. Right. You don't want a wife that halfway love you. You want a wife right, that fully right. love you. Right. You don't want a husband that halfway love you. You want a husband that always love. I mean, love you wholly, entirely. Right. So how if you want that, and we created in His image, and you feel that you can get the most out whatever you want to give Him, that doesn't make sense. You remember He said He's a jealous God. That's right. So it says, yo, old, yo, old, when you learn this Bible, you being born again, that old man should be dead. Right. You know how people say, I die for the Lord. If you say, if you put a gun in my head. You say, do I believe in God? I shoot. You can shoot me. You can kill me right now. Kamikaze style. I can do it myself or whatever. But, okay, this is something I just tell them at camp. Okay, you willing to die for the Lord right now. 
Yes. Okay, take off the pants. Mm. If you did, you did to everything. Right, right, right. You know, what I mean? I'm just saying, if you if you willing to kill everything, so right. why didn't you just take off the pants from the start? Right, I right, can't right. do that. You can't die for the Lord then. What these pants got to do with me and the Lord? Right. Stop eating shrimp. No, no, <laughs> what? No. What did you say? I can't do that. You just said you would die right. when you said somebody can walk up and kill me right now. That means you're not gonna eat. You're not gonna dress. You're not gonna drink water. You're not gonna do nothing. You in the ground. Right. Pretty much. Maggot food. <laughs> now you can't put down the unclean food. So it just, it just, our, our people just lip service. Right. Jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. It say blessed is he that come in the name of a Republican. Of the Lord. Of a Democrat. Of the Lord. You see that? Or as an NBA player. Of the Lord. As an NFL player. Of the Lord. As a movie star. Of the Lord. Come into the name and representation of the Lord. That's right. That's it. Nothing else. Right. You can't come into the, the in the house of God talking about something else. Right. right. You sound foolishness. That's the wisdom of this earth. That's right. So it's telling you bless, 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 favor. Right. Kudos. <laughs> For real. Uh, be he that come in the name of the Lord. Y'all don't even trust in the name of the Lord. You have your own gods. Money is your God. You say, I'm coming in as a millionaire. I'm coming in as a uh, as, as an assistant to, to Floyd Mayweather. Right. I come in the attributes of Michael Jordan. Right. I come as a, 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 a secret service to the president. That's not getting you nowhere. That's all man made to make you feel important. That's right. If you're not coming in the, in the name of the Lord, you do to the eyes of the Most High. Dung. Dung. A dunk hill. Right. A dunk hill with legs and arms. Right. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a Disney creation. Yeah, see, That's what you are. The Bible say we watch for a nation that can't save us. That's well, why we think they yeah. can save us. Right. Oh, hardly we, we think that. Right. That's why you could you could put on a uh, you could be an NBA player or an NFL player, and then you could drape an American flag across your back, and right. then walk around the, the the field of the court all proudly like you an American. No, you're not even a citizen. They don't consider you uh right. you 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 property. Right. You yeah, property. Yeah. You still currently property. That's right. That's right. That's why it says in in eighteen and uh, one eighteen and eight. You know what I'm saying? We put confidence in man. All right, man is not going to get us out of this situation, this captivity that we're in. The most high is going to get us out of this thing. Right. All right. Um, go to Psalms one, uh, on the Psalms 73 and 1. We're going to read 1 through 3. And then we want to, I want to pull up that mass media um, video that I posted on the channel, brothers. Because it, it all goes into the mindset and the, the, the media, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, his, his, uh, we will get a precept. But this is the book of Psalms, chapter 73, and verse 1. Uh -huh. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Mm -hmm. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. Because Asaph is telling you, like, Looking at these heathens, look at this world, right? Officers spoke on it. They stole everything. You know what I'm saying? They have the riches. They living out riches. They stole a <laughs> long time ago. Right, right. Okay? We, Our people, we envy that. We see that. We see these things, the fashions, how they living, the vacations they taking, mm -hmm. the, all these different things, and we desiring those things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we, the most high is going to look out for Israel. Remember, the end of – remember – the uh, second day of the six eight, Jacob is the uh Esau at the end of the world, Jacob at the beginning of that followed. I'm butchering it, but you understand what it's I'm saying. Jacob is the beginning of it. Or the ending of it, I'm sorry. Meaning it's gonna end with Jacob. Christ coming back. All right, we're gonna rule the earth. Ain't gonna be no more captivities after that. Right. But you gotta make it to that stage of life. You understand? Okay, keep reading. Verse three. For I was envious at the foolish. When I saw the property of the wicked. Prosperity. Prosperity of the wicked. He said, I was envious 
of the foolish. All these things that these other nations do and has put before us to do and follow in that pattern is foolishness to God. All right? It's foolishness to God. Now, of course, don't get it twisted. Most I say the, the, the uh, I butcher it, but the children of this world is wiser than the children. I'm butchering it. Children of light, something like that. I know what I'm quoting. The point I'm, that goes into is the mammon of the world. Mm-hmm. It's their world. It's their system. So things that we do, we're going to follow it. But as long as it's in the, in the lines of the commandments, you understand? That's where Romans 13 and 1 come in. All right. Uh, so it, uh, so we, we were uh, envious of the prosperity of the wicked. That's why people see these things and they want it. All right. This is the mindset. So we're going to show you a little mindset of how these things are implanted in our minds. Let's play the video for them. The mass media, the Khan Academy. Y'all got it? All right, play a little of it. Go explain itself pretty much and how indoctrination of our mindset. What exactly are we talking about when we talk about mass media? Well, we're talking about the dissemination of information or how information is transmitted within a culture. And this could include print media like books, newspapers, and magazines, as well as digital media like TV, movies, radio, and the internet. Exactly how this media is consumed changes across cultures and age groups. For example, my grandmother gets a lot of her information about current events through TV and newspapers, but I primarily get this information online. And when we look at mass media, we can look at the role it plays in our society through different sociological perspectives. So according to the functionalist view, one of the most important functions of mass media is to provide entertainment. So it's meant to occupy our leisure time. Okay, pause it. Pause but the functionalist... Well, that? we're what talking about the dissemination... Oh, can you start it back up? Okay, you see it said... I forgot what it said. What is it? Oh, entertainment. Entertainment. It's to occupy our leisure time. Okay. Really, we don't have no leisure time. Uh, <laughs> we'd be working all the damn time. Captivity, you know what I'm saying? So we really don't have no leisure time, you know. Uh, but even in our so-called leisure time, all right, uh, they uh, uh, indoctrinate us with the entertainment. Right. They entertain us with all these different things. That right. The football, the basketball, the the the, uh, the news. Because a lot of it, as Trump said, is fake news, right? Right. We don't get the whole, uh, we don't get all the news. We don't get world news. We don't get what's going on in, in Iraq or Iran or Russia, you know, Brexit, all this stuff. We don't get those type of news. Right. In some media outlets, yes. But for the most majority, like local news and things of that nature, we don't get that. Right. CNN, Caucasian, Caucasian News Network, they cover what they want to cover. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember, Esau is in control of everything. Even when it said about the, uh, from our older generation, they said more newspaper and things of that nature. Now right. it's more what? Our generation per se is more internet. You know what right. I'm saying? The, the fast, fast paced stuff, right? But that though, who was the control of that though? Esau, right? So that's shaping the minds of the people. They see a Kobe, LeBron, these different um, idols, stars, right. they, they worship them. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that they're geared to, that's the way out right. of poverty, of this situation, that di- situation. My drunk daddy, my, my crackhead mama, whatever the case may be, that's the way out right. of this situation, all right? And speaking on that, Cap, uh-huh. just, to, just to touch on what you said about the media, mm-hmm. the uh, when they had the attack with the Iranians uh, shooting the missiles in Iraq, right. they said Trump, Trump came on the next day, he said, you know, basically bigging up America. Oh, we didn't have no casualties. Right, right, we right. good. 
But then they had a report during all this Kobe stuff going on and all the other stuff going on with the coronavirus. They put out a report saying that there were soldiers that suffered brain injuries just from the concussions and stuff of the bombs going off. So they did have people that were hurt. Right, they right, just right. lied and said, oh, there's nobody hurt. But they yeah. had people hurt. You know, he don't want to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? You want to remember, America's great. You know, the, 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 the whore, she ain't been touched. This right, America, right. like, we we good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to put that out. Right. Yeah, we ain't defiled. We don't want to put that out to the, to the public like that. You know what I'm saying? We keep it on the low level. Yeah, it's just a little. There's a couple, little you know, dust. little shake it off. Look, concussions. There ain't no wrong with concussions. It's just like our men that get concussions and things of that nature that they found out doing in these sports. CTE. Yeah. Okay, brain injuries. Yeah, I remember the the guy in uh, was it? It was a, yeah. Will Smith played it. Thank you. Will Smith played the 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 act the, the, the actual man that um discovered that that illness. You know what I'm saying? So. It's a lot of things associated with all this, the sports and stuff, man, you know, that they pushing and gearing our, our children too, all right? They, they're uh, persuading the mind of our children, all right? Uh, you, you know, Bishop brought it out yesterday, uh, the, the, the barometer by which you can judge day for day whether you're doing what God made you to do when you read right, uh right. Sirach thirty nine and one. Right. That's the barometer mm -hmm. that, that you are to measure yourself by daily. Right. That's and if right, and if right. you can't say to yourself that you give God more time in your day than than you give this world, mm -hmm. you're not doing what you was created for. That's right. You know and that's that's heavy because that's what we're getting into. That's what that's what this whole class is about. We're ignoring God and and but looking to the world, to Esau to the fashion of this world to mold and guide us, but we already been molded and guided. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just don't know him. We we ignorant of God. That's why we bring it back to your remembrance. All right, Israel. Hey, can I pull this precept up? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah seventeen five. Going right into how we trust in the the fashion of this world. And another thing I think about too is um. How the things that they portray on TV to us with their popular persuasion, of course, like the basketball wise and, you know, all of these type of shows that de degrade us, but yet and still, they're not showing it to their kids. Right. You know, they're not growing up on that type of stuff. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man. I could get you. I could get you. What do you want to be? You go to my particular college. We could get you all the right, way. Right, right. Trusting yep, in yep. that man. Come right. on, and make it flesh his arm. Come on, and whose heart did departed Departed from the Lord. You see that because they're not thinking about their history. They're not thinking about uh uh the they belief where they ancestry come from. Right, or, right. You know, God. They they religion is not on their mind at all. All they're thinking about is their wealth. I got to get my mama this house. I got to become this pro so I could be set. That's what they trusting that man about. That's so. right. That's on point. That's on point, Austin. And remember, Kobe came out of 17. 17 out of high school. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was was he, he was the first one to do that, right? Yeah, he was the first one. Yeah, he was the first one. LeBron and came the youngest, out as well. Because I think youngest, Magic was, went to college, but he was like 20. Right, you right. know, he was the youngest at that time. Right, and right. Kevin Garnett as well. He came right, out. Kevin Garnett. You had Ray, yeah. Lu I mean, uh, Rashad Lewis. Yeah, Rashad, he came right. out of high school I went to, right. Yeah. And the thing about it with, with Kobe, though, the difference with him was um, his his father was um, – in the, some league in Italy, Italy. or something Italy. like Italy. that. Italy. He was in the, well, he yeah, played so. in the NBA, but yeah. then he went overseas. Because yes, a lot sir. of times when your career don't flourish in the NBA, you yeah. go overseas. Right. Yes, sir. So he was over there. Then like, the, uh, what's his name? Stoudemire. Yeah. Not yeah. Stoudemire, but Stephon Marbury. 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 Yeah. So then he went over there. He was over there, and then they came back. And he only did like two years at the high school that they saying, oh, we grew him. No, you ain't growing him. He was already – his daddy was an NBA player. So anyway, uh, yeah, he his story was kind of a little different, you know. But I, un I understand what y'all saying. He he did them two years and came right out, right out. So, right, right, right. But his commitment at 17, you know what right. I'm saying? His commitment at 17 was to um, – a lot of times – uh, uh, you know how when you read in um Sirach, I think it's thirty talking about raise up a Avenger. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So raising up a son, his son probably got that that hunger and that drive or that mama like mentality is by looking at his daddy. You know right. what I'm saying? Yes, and saying right. my dad didn't have a good career. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna right. do better than my daddy, right, and right, I'm gonna right, leave. Right, I'm right. gonna leave with a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Just like Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? His daddy and his uncle was boxers. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they right. didn't really, they didn't really go nowhere. They, that, that, they that fought, shattered. they fought the best of the best. You know what I mean? Yes, but sir. they never like really won. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd, like, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up the, I'm gonna pick up the, um, the torch, and and I'm not gonna let it down. Right. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm committed. You know right. what I'm saying? A lot of people who are the first time, you know what I mean? Um, so-called pioneers of it. They have to go through the trail. They got to create a trailblazer. Right, right, right. And a lot of times, they, they spend majority of their time doing that, creating a way. But yeah. then you have a son. The way, the path has already been created. Yeah. Right, right, you, right. you know who else doing that? That balls guy. He got them sons, the balls. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. I know you're talking about. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, right. he couldn't do it, so he raised up Avengers that's going to seek that wealth like that. Right. right. That career. Right. So that's the thing where we're trying to, sh- the mentality that we have for sports entertainment in a, in a fashion of this world, right. you got to have the same mentality for the most high. Right. right. We don't have. Because um, go back to um, Psalm 73, what Captain was reading off of. Because that 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 precept, what what ASAP is talking about, that's all of us. Right, right. That's all of us in the land of our captivity. Like when you read in Ecclesiastes, it's talking about the um, the sinner can do wrong a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? And his days are prolonged. And sometimes that that make us envious. Like like the saying what the, what the sin that they have in the world, why the good die young. And the wicked lives are prolonged. But go ahead, read where you at. Read verse um, two. This read is the verse, read, read one. Yeah, I read one. Read. Yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 73 and verse 1. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. A pure mind. You have to have a pure mind in the world of confusion. That's the only way that's going to sustain you. That's the only way your faith is the only thing going to help you to overcome right. the things that you see, the temptations. That's, you got to have a clean, a clean heart. That's why David said, put in me a clean heart. Right, right. Right. That's Show me your way. Show me the laws. Then I can teach my people. Right. Because why? Majority of your people is right here with Esau. Verse 2. Verse 2. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. He almost fell out the faith. Right. He almost got caught up. That's why a lot of times brothers be just trying to die every other week or every other month. Bro, temptation is knocking at your door every day, right. every right. hour, every, every minute, every right. second. That's right. You got to be on point because you're going to slip. Right. And it's your thoughts that show you that. That's because right. your every other thought is an evil thought, you know. So, so that's your barometer to measure by uh, where you where you are uh, with the Most High, whether you be in the faith or whether you in the flesh, you know. That, that you can you can search that just by your thoughts. You you say to yourself, "What am I thinking?" You know what I mean. When you have a thought, where did the thought come from? You know what I mean. You have to examine your thoughts, and if you cannot do that. Then you you constantly in the flesh. Right, That's right, what right. I should say. As a man thinking, so is he. Right, and then we the scriptures tell us we have to take every thought in captive to obedience of Jesus Christ. So That's right. you know that's definitely on point. Also, right. 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 Go ahead. This is why people at right here, verse three. Verse three. For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Right. It said, "For I was envious at the foolish." When I was when I saw the prosperity, that's why I say envy not a sinner, right. mm-hmm. and know their end. When you read um Sirach nine and eleven, right. know their end because that lifestyle is going to come to an end. Right. What what is the um, what what does it gains? I mean, what does it, what does it, it it prosper a guy to gain an individual to gain the whole world but lose his soul? Because you can live like a millionaire or a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people who are billion and millionaires. I mean, millionaires and billionaires. But you know they don't love God. Right. They don't fear God. Right. In the direction that they're going, it's not good. But guess what? We are choosing their ways. Now they are becoming our mentors. Right. Right. They become our word, a, a, a word of advice. We don't go to Proverbs. 
We don't go to God's words. We go to men right. because they got things that we want. That's what it means. Envy not. Envy, um, for I was envious at the foolish. Even when you're reading um, with Ezra, he said, if the world was given to us, why we live like such? Right. That's what he's talking about. It's the, I see the prosperity of everybody else. And the people of in in the um the people of your nation, the ones that's um excelling is the men of the world. That's right. That's what it means. They they dedicated their whole life. That's what Captain was going into. Is the men of the world. Sometimes they are more wiser than the children of light. Right. Those who keeping the commandments. But the men of the world, they dedicated their whole life to making things happen. Right. The only thing they have over Israel is to where they have a work ethic. They have a work, they have a dedication. But Israel, when it's talking about and what and what Christ was talking about in Luke, a lot of times we just wait for man and the bread to fall out of heaven. Right. But they know that they gotta get out there and make things happen to get what they want. But right here it's telling you, um, and what um ASAP is saying that they just everything they know is just of the world. Right here, everything they know is of the world. That's right. right. And these are people that you are watching and you are envy or jealous of them. You're not supposed to be like, they have their reward right here. That's right. They have their reward. They have nothing invested in heaven in the outer world. At all. The world to come. Mm -hmm. The roles are going to be reversed. That's right. Go ahead. Jump down to um, uh, um, 12. Verse 12. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. You see that? These are the people that um, 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 ASAP is looking at. He said they are the wicked. They have prosperity in the prosperity of the wicked. And these are the ungodly. These individuals are ungodly. They're not righteous. They just put on a nice suit, put on some cologne, and they look holy. Right. But they're not. They oh, evil God. dressed up. Right. Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. As a basketball player, as a movie store, all that is witchcraft. Right. But I'm not gonna say everybody in there who they doing voodoo, they doing rituals and and things like that. I'm not gonna say that. But the whole mentality, the whole system of it, right. is to draft our young men to to do the bidding of Esau. That's right. It's to make dollar dollar bills, y'all. So it's a behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in this world they increase in riches jump down to 16 verse 16 when i thought to know this it was too it was too painful for me you see this so now he's looking at everything to where he's coming he's coming into his right mind right now right 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 he's letting you know what he almost slipped what made him slip you know what i'm saying and now he how he got his mind right to where you know what these people is they nothing to god they hate God. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Why? Why should I? Why should I worship and envy them? That's what. That's what ASAP is coming into his mind. What he's doing, he's purifying himself. He's cleaning his mind from all the filth. Go ahead. Verse seventeen. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood. I their end. Right. And some of these people that he was envy of, it was painful for him because some of them were his friends. Right. Some of them is his families. It is painful to understand that your mama gonna die. Right. If that that behavior, you're gonna be put to death. Right. Can I hear it? Okay. That they're gonna be put to death. That's painful. Because he said, I, until I went into the sanctuary of God and then understood their end. That's the only way you're going to understand the true judgment. That's right. Because out there, you think God loves everybody. Right. Ain't nothing going to happen to him. But when you when you go in the sanctuary in the house of the Lord, you're going to understand that these people are going to be put to death. That's right. For serving two masters like the captain brought out right. or being lukewarm. Right. And that's how you know that Asaph was a black man, so-called black man. You, we the only ones think like that. Right. That there's some deep thoughts right there. That's right. Hey, hey, hey! You know it, it's funny because in a natural sense, right? You take a you take a, a a rich man, right? And this rich man has children, and then the children are disobedient unto this rich man. His children, they're disobedient unto uh, 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 this rich man, which is their father, and he has a will. And Esau shows you this. 
Esau will write his own children out of the will if his children do not obey him and do what they what he tells them to do. Right, but right. for some reason, we disconnect that from God being our father as children of Israel. We disconnect that that ideology, which works the exact same way. So if you're not doing what the Most High God commands you to do as an Israelite, right. which is keeping the commandments, you will be written out the will regardless of what of what this world uh, uh, convinces you of. That's right. That's right. That's on point. That's on point. Uh, that's why we're trying to turn our brothers and sisters over back to, because our sisters are in as well. You know, WNBA and tennis players and all this. They 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 in this life as well. You know, in that world, right? right. Golf, right. all that. You know what I'm saying? So. Lingerie football. Oh, yeah, they sure do got football for the sisters. Yeah, they've been having that for years. Boxing, sisters boxing. Yeah, boxing, right. You're supposed to be delicate, tender, and you punching each other. Yeah, they they on earth. And kicking each other. They got sisters playing college ball, Cap. You know, they've been doing that for years with, uh, you know, sisters playing uh, high school MMA. Yes, sir. You know, they've been doing that other one for years with the sisters playing football. You know, sister's been playing football for years, but I think it's a so-called African American sister that's playing uh, in college ball right now. Right, right. They just announced. Uh, I seen the news the other day, uh, the other morning, and they announced that uh, it was a it's an Edomite lady, which is supposed to be the first lady to uh, coach. Uh, uh, what is it? In, in the Super Bowl or something like yeah, that? I think she's a sister coach. Yeah. So, oh, okay, something like that. Yeah, so that. Yeah, that go into what he was talking about. Feminism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to First Timothy six and seven. Six and seven, because yeah, basically showing you through all this that you go fall into sin. It's 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 everything that's set up for you is to continue in sin, you know. And then having riches that just go engulf your your uh, plethora of sin. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can have and do and, and live how you want. You know, as we stated, for the food, for us women, for us your own ideology of the gods. You think that, you know, God is all gods. You know, like Harry Spears was talking about the foolishness. These our people's mind is gone. You know, and he's an actor, right? Comedian, actor. You know what I'm Comedian, actor. Comedian, actor. He's saying some funny stuff right now. Yeah, he's funny as hell. Uh, read that. This is the book of First Timothy's. Chapter six and verse seven. For we for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. That, that said a lot in itself, right there. Huh? We brought nothing into this world. You know, and that's one thing you think about. The Most High, well, Solomon asked the Most High for wisdom. He gave him wisdom, and in that wisdom, he had what riches. You know what I'm saying knowledge, understanding of everything. You know. But our people seek this riches. You know what I'm saying? They seek the things that God can give them everything. You know what I'm saying? But they seek things that are not of God. But then not understanding the kingdom to come, this these things that's in this earth and, and that we possess today is it's not it's not gonna be in the kingdom to come. We can't take this with us. Right. That's the point that I'm making. All right. So Kobe, he, he got all these riches and Probably billions of dollars. Right. He, what he can't do nothing with that. Right. His, 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 going, his family go take it. His wife, uh, so on and so forth. His children. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this the most I is giving you the mindset. You can't take none of this with you. Right. All right. Kobe can't. Th- uh, to show you what Captain is saying, Kobe can't even buy a a, a do over. You know what I'm saying? Right, he can't right. even use that money to save his life. You know what I'm saying? Or his right. daughter's life. Because mm-hmm. trust me, if he had an opportunity to save his life, not even necessarily save his life, save his daughter's life, right. he would. that just shows you that you bring nothing in this world. You can't take nothing with you. Right. right. So when, when, when the most high is, you know what I mean, when, when that time is coming, money is nothing. Right. Money is nothing, man. Right. You can't buy your time, right. basically. Yeah, you can't buy extra time. You can't buy a lifeline. This ain't a video game, huh? Right. So that's why we have to consider our ways of things that we value, right. things that we cherish, right. things that we love. Right. You know what this right here, it it, it kills the uh the Egyptians. Huh? Oh yeah, Cap, it killed the Egyptians. Theory. You know what the Egyptians used to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they ah, ah. The they, kings they, and they the queens. Purchase, uh, gold the pharaohs. 
they bear they 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 bear the slaves alive with them, and saying they go and they go inherit them in the afterlife. My slave coming with me. Right, but the Bible just said right here that slave you got on earth is not gonna be in the afterworld. Right, 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 right. All that gold that you was, they was that's why you had tomb raiders. Right. They was going to get the the, the ancient. Raid. You know, yes, in that. They raid, raid, raid right. the gold, right. the precious metals. You know what I'm saying? They did. Let's get this. For thing. real. Now your body is in, in London or um, Italy or some damn where. You know what I'm saying? Right. On a museum. <laughs> Thank you for preserving the body for right, us. Right, right, for real. And it's gold. In the gold. You, you give us enough money to 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 to, um, to store your ass. Right. But. You give us a nice uh, air conditioner facility, you know what I'm saying, right. <laughs> to do some uh, some some more research on you. That's right, that's right. But like the captain was saying, you know, um, this is the 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 propaganda that they put in front of us that we chase. You know, the Aries and the Kobe's, and you know, being a profession like that, that's what they have us chase after, rather than right. you know. Looking at the most high, looking at, you know, for our nation. We look at right. these things, and they are role models and leaders and Jesse Jacksons and Al Sharpness. We look at all of that. Everybody we see, you know, uh, 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 proposed on the TV, you right, know, right, in right. front of us. We look mm -hmm. at them. That's why they crying for Kobe Flowers and a, a place that he ain't, even, he ain't at no more. Right, right, out here right. in front of the Lakers the and all of this stuff, right, man. Right. That's crazy. Right. Yeah, that's on point. Keep reading. Verse 8. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. Mm -hmm. So we we telling you to be content with your wages. Be content with the things that you have. Right. Basically, you know, riches. There's nothing wrong with riches, like Cap. Rich, riches, okay, riches, <laughs> like Cap says. Nothing wrong with riches. The Most High make rich, He make poor. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that's go ordain <laughs> what what you can handle. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, at the end of the day, they can repent. They can come in this truth. They can start keeping these commandments either, you know, behind the scenes or whatever the case may be. But the point is they can get the kingdom that's promised to them, you know what I'm saying, if they choose so, you know. But that's on them. Like David said, Cap, by being rich, he said, don't make me rich where I forget thee. That's right. And that's a lot right. of times people get rich and they forget the Lord. And it goes yeah. back to that 23, Proverbs 23, you know, saying that, no, uh, um, cease. I mean, cease not to be rich. You know right. what I'm saying? Seek not to be rich. Right. right. Yeah, labor, labor not, not to be, to be rich. rich. There you right. go. You know what I'm saying? Unless it grow rings to fly to the heavens. You know what I'm saying? That you gonna get prideful. You are gonna get puffed up right. to where you don't want. You don't want to humble yourself. Like we said about last week with the little boosie and everything like that. These men are so being so used to being worshipped and praised right. that they forgot to give. They forgot or they forget to give praises to the Most High. He he is. Remember, the Most High is the one that orchestrates all this. All, all, Esau is in power because the most high orchestrated him to be in power. The life you live is his going. It's his his um, puppetry, however you want to say it. Okay? Right. Keep reading. Verse 9. That's it. Verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. That's the key thing. Those that be rich, those that, it, it is, like I said, it's rich, it's power, it's, it's many things that can blind you from what your true purpose on the earth is. Right. Your true purpose on the earth is to do what? Serve the most high. You know what I'm saying? And another way that they blind you with these temptations and the snares is the gifts, the things that they give you. All right? Uh, pull that one I, I, I posted on there uh, about, like, the Oscars. Nah, he's talking about your actors now, the gifts that they get. You know what I'm saying? And it, like I say, football, all this, they get endorsements. They get so many things, free this, free that. You know, they do commercials too, you know what I'm saying, and get free stuff. You know what I'm saying? All these things, basically, that two master thing. You know what I'm saying? They endorse them. Right, they endorse them. But the, the two master thing, it blinds them from even trying to consider or think about the most highly creator that's doing all this. Cap, just imagine being endorsed by Satan. That's who they endorsed by. That's, he that's tried a good to endorse one. Christ. That's a good one. Right. <laughs> I give you all this, Christ. Just worship me. Sign your name in blood right here. That's on point, Cap. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. Being endorsed by Satan. Got it. Just scroll all well, you can read the top and then scroll all the way down to what they what they get in these gift baskets, um, uh, these entertainers. All yeah. of them entertainers, remember yeah. that. He said, "He said the world is given to me, and I give it to whom I, I may." That's it. 
That's you have destroyed the heart. Through who? The Most High. Remember Job. I'm endorsed by Satan. <laughs> you my sponsor. <laughs> See, I never say I thank God. Yeah, I thank I thank <laughs> God, Lucifer, Satan. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's all he's all sticking in your face. Uh, scroll down so uh, up when we the one so down I guess so he can read the it other way. the other way. He read the just the title and then more. that damn statue is a deity. Don't yep, down that down. is a deity. Oh, the other way. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Say Oscar. Uh, inside the two hundred and thirty-two thousand Oscar. I can't see that the other part. Go down. Uh, quartz. Uh, everyone's a winner. Keep going. Let me finish reading that top. Yeah, read it. Rank it back. Uh, in in inside the two thousand and thirty-two thousand Oscar. Two two hundred and thirty-two thousand Oscar <laughs> gift bag that requires multiple suitcases to deliver. Public education. <laughs> okay, shots fired. Okay, uh, scroll out. Just yeah, keep going down. Oh, you need glasses. You getting older, bro? Yeah, yeah. For the actors and directors. No, we're not gonna read that. Just scroll all up. We the the topic is the gift basket. So just scroll. Yeah, it's talking about right there. Bro. No, you good? Just scroll up. We just that's why I want to just read the title. Okay. Yeah. Just scroll up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, right there. Now we for the read what's in the gift bag. That's that's the point I want to make. Uh, here's every item in the distinctive Essex 2016 gift bag. Go back down a little bit. Start at the top. Have it at the top. Okay. A haze dual vaporizer, two hundred fifty dollars. Personalized M and M's, three hundred dollars. A ten thousand dollar meal donation. That thing said personalized M&Ms. Yeah, three hundred dollars. Whatever you want. What the? The most known name. Uh, yeah. yeah. Idolatry. Go ahead. If you want, if you want, uh, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Dollar only God sign. can judge me on it or something. You want dollar signs? M and dollar signs on your M&Ms. Yeah. Gold, gold M&Ms. Right, right. I'm eating gold. Silver. Yeah. I people eat gold. Forty carat gold M&Ms. Go ahead. Per, uh, a ten thousand dollar meal donation made in a nominee's name to an animal shelter or rescue of their choice, sixty three hundred dollars. Tax write off. Go ahead. A lifetime supply of Puer T nourishing cream and Puer T cleansing bar, thirty one thousand two hundred dollars. That must be a hell of some cleaning. Wow. Whatever the hell they're supposed to clean, I don't know. He so needs thirty one thousand dollars. Wow. Ooh-wee. Go ahead. A year's worth of Audi car rentals from Silver Car, wow. forty-five thousand dollars. A year of rental car, Audi rental. That's Audi. A, that's a foreign car. A particular yeah. car at that. We that's seen Jamie Foxx in car. the new. Th- in the, yeah, we seen Jamie Fox in the new 2019 Audi this week. Wow, he's balling. <laughs> no, he rent out on rental. Right. <laughs> Ten day all expense paid trip. To and Israel. it's Israel. Wow. Israel. Yeah. What? They're only going to take yeah. you to the final part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not well, what, hey. not, not what I'm like over there dumping in the middle of the street. Right. Taking hey, a dump in the middle of the street. Remember, they the ones that run Hollywood. Tel Aviv. Right. They the right. ones running Hollywood. So they, you know, go visit our homeland. Right. To worship yeah. us, Satan. Yeah. Right. We will endorse you meet even more. <laughs> yeah. Man, they dumping Israel. You should be mad. They, they dumping in your homeland, bro. Well, you know why they going to Israel too, though, because that you know Amalek, they they own the movie industry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yes, Ten day all expense paid trip to Israel, fifty five thousand dollars. Woo wee! Tribute video services, uh, one hundred twenty five dollars. That's about to follow you around and just yeah, I don't know. idolize you. Coke, Coke, Kaolian Ultimate Poor Care Gift Set, one hundred thirty four dollars. 
you want to cleanse your pores. <laughs> Healing Saint Luminosity Skin Serum and Hair Follicle Stimulant, $193. Private 15-day walking tour of Japan, $54,000. Yeah, the point I'm making, y'all see the, the, all this gifts they getting, even though they're trying to give like $6,000 back to a charity. Yeah, okay. They rich. Good Lord. Yes, sir. Um, one of y'all, sir. Huh? They rich. So why are they getting these 200 and some thousand dollar gift, gift bags? Right. Va- free vacations. Like, so this is just showing you the gifts that our people get. It They don't. They mind is not on the most, most high. They mind is not on their forefathers. The rich get rich and the poor stay poor. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the system that Esau has devised. Okay? So, from there, go to uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. It said a gift. A gift destroyeth the heart. All right? Meaning it makes you make bad decisions. Mm-hmm. All right? It puts you farther and farther away from your God, mm-hmm. your nation. What's your purpose here on earth? It's not to be a football player. A basketball player, right. an actor, an entertainer. Yeah, it's not it's not your purpose on earth. Okay, you got something? Sir? No, I was just gonna say like um, being a being a person that feeling like a king or master or some type of prestige, and you have people serving you. Man, that's intoxicating. Right, right, right. And a lot of these people, they are being they are being served. Got the maids at the house. They, right. they got all of it. They're not trying to lose that. Like this day kingdom, man. pretty yeah. much. Right. We were on the cruise, man. They was on our begging call, and I was like, wow, man, they serving us. That make you feel good. You don't want to let that go. And it's our people, though. And it's our people. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. like I say, people with low self esteem, they step on people. They hurt people, hurt people. You know That's what I'm right. saying? That's right. They're not finna um, um, try to be morally fit when they know they um, have a mental. Mental challenges, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Mental disabilities, mm-hmm. just to make you feel bad. They need to feel bad in their mind. I mean, they need to feel better That's in right. their mind. Right. So, go to uh, Sirach 20 and 29. Because all the things that they give you, the money, the gifts, the, 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 the popularity, you know, the fame, you worship me, like Satan said. You know what I'm saying? I give you all this. But you got to. The VIP, you know what I mean? The, right. the, the um the pull up every, Yeah, right. just pull up to a restaurant, everybody know your name, get right. free right. meals, free watches. Come on, we got the table all ready for you. You know, it's it's carted off, you know, this that, that, that go to the mall, they shut that they shut it down, and you only want in the in foot action, right. picking your shoes and outfits right. and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah Disney yeah. world, the whole Disney world shut down because me and my, my child and her group of friends came for the weekend. Hmm. Want to be around the kids, right. other people. So right. we want the whole Disney by itself. Right. Is that not the thing to go and be amongst other people, right. enjoying the atmosphere of everything? Pretty much. Right. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter twenty, and verse twenty-nine. Mm-hmm. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise, and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Let's say presents and gifts. Well, we just witnessed the Oscars. Trip to Israel, <laughs> trip to Japan, fifty-five, right. go, go to thirty-five, thirty something. Go trip to Israel, everything in whitewash. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man, these—that's how they blind our people with the gifts, but then it stops their mouth because when it comes to, and you know, you had back in the day, uh, I forget their names, but the ones that stood up and did the fist and so on and so forth with the Olympics, uh, they got black ball. It, it just uh, um, basically showing you when they give you these gifts and the prestige and the, and the power, things of that nature, limited power, okay? But they give you these things. You can't speak out now on the things you see. You can't see the oppression of your people and say, hold up, 
my, my people being oppressed right here, like Kaepernick. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You can't do that. Them yeah. gifts, them gifts come with an um, unwritten, um, I mean, un- unwritten, unverbal gag order. Right, right. 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 That's what it was saying. When I give you these gifts, it's a gag order. Right. right. They're not raising you up for that. They're raising you up to do their bid. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So it's showing you that if you say something, that's why it's stopping your mouth. You gonna be blackballed. You gonna be kicked out of this league or that Public league or whatever. Persuasion. You know what I'm saying? The gifts gonna turn into I- IRS letters. Right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hurts Credit and cards loyalty. cut off. Right. Um, go to. Uh, let's go to First uh, Corinthians one and twenty six. First Corinthians one and twenty six. Okay. Yeah, First Corinthians one and twenty six. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter one and verse twenty six. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So we are called. But the Most High and Paul was letting you know that the things that this world esteemed and put forth to be um, idolic, idolic, uh, idolized, that's what I'm looking for, it's not what the Most High looking for. You understand? He already have, which we're going to bring out, his, his prophets ordained from the womb. Right. Okay? And... The world see us as nothing. He don't want those mighty, those nobles, those uh, politicians, those actors, those men of status of the world. Not saying some of them not going to be called. Because you read in the scriptures, some of our high leaders were called. Right? They stood up for Christ. Yeah, Nicodemus. You know what I'm saying? There's many more. But the point I'm making to you is it's going to be free and far between. Because the gifts, because of what the world, what Satan has given them. All right? Keep going. Verse 27. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Right. He's waking up those that are called nothing to show and teach those, as they say, going to the gate of the noble, so on and so forth, the uh, chief place of concourse to tell the people who they are, to wake our people up. You understand? The Most High is calling those people that are considered nothing to do this, to right. to perform the mission, to perform their calling. Right. And and I like how they say that mighty and not many mighty and not many noble. You got your 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 Michael Jordans. Right, right. They are mighty. They are giants in the earth, and they right. and they articulate. You know what I'm saying? And they have charisma right. where they can persuade many people. Right. And you have the nobles. You have the the um the the politician like the um like the captain going to your Jesse Jacksons, Al and Sharpton. your Al Sharptons, your your uh um your uh um Farrakhans. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. You have those that have charisma talking about certain things that we going through as a people. You know what I'm saying? But they are not giving you the solution. Right. Key thing. They they noble. You know what I'm saying? You in your mind they look noble. They look like they royalty and they right. They but the most I say, I'm not calling them. Right. But he said, I'm gonna use the foolish to confound the mighty. The right. Michael Jordans, the the, the 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 nobles and the mightiest of the earth. Right. Because they're not mighty in spiritually. They mighty earthly. This wisdom, it's world worldly wisdom. Right. That's, that's right. foolishness with God. Right. But guess what? The, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God, and we come in the name of God, we look foolishness to the world. Right. That's why I said the fool, the foolishness don't confound the, um, the earth, the right. wise, that's the right. mighty. Right. You understand that? The world that's wise on this earth. Just think about Moses came back to Egypt with a stick, a staff. They, they, they laughed him to scorn. You got, you got the Pharaoh, and you got the magicians. Right. These men are mighty and noble. And all the signs and everything, they, they were, that's who they was going, that's who they was going against. Mm-hmm. The wisdom of the pharaohs. Right. 
Or the Pharaoh. Which is your politicians, your your government today, your paperwork. Yep. That's on point. And Moses was looked at he nobody, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Founded him. Pretty much. Because he said uh he said he was gonna he was gonna give us a, a mouth that nobody could gainsay against. Right, right, you know, that's and that's right. this Bible. Nobody could right. gainsay against this Bible. That's right at all. Read verse twenty one. The verse thirty one. That according twenty eight, you read twenty eight? No, no, I haven't read that. All right, read twenty eight, then jump to twenty one. Verse twenty eight. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. Our job is to as uh Jeremiah say, to teach against and, and, and to prophesy against and to show our people what's gonna happen to this kingdom to come, all right? This world that we live in now, it won't be going on like this. You know, it won't be revelings. It won't be whoremongering. It won't be partying. It won't be all these religions. It won't be none of these things. What, sir? Hypocrisy. Yeah, straight up hypocrisy. It won't be none of that. In God, we trust country. No, none of that because they don't trust in God because they will be following God's word. You know what I'm saying? they biggest hypocrites there are, all right? Martin Luther King said, be true what you said on paper. <laughs> <laughs> and they never will be true what they said on paper because how many treaties they broke with the native, so-called Native Americans? Over 400. Right. So, at all. Mm. They don't know. They have no, no, uh, et, 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 moral. No et integrity. Integrity. There you go. That's the word I'm looking They have no integrity. They have no soul. You know what I'm saying? They the devil that the Bible speaks of. You can't, you can't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, reason. Thank you. You can't reason a with bad, the devil. The Terminator. Yeah. A bad tree don't yeah, yeah. produce good fruits. That's right. right. The, the Terminator had a mission. <laughs> Esau have a mission. Yeah, the Terminator. He has a mission to keep us in sin, right. to keep right. us confused. Right. That's it. That's his mission. He's that, that sword that the scriptures speak of in Psalms. Right. You understand? He's doing what the most high has ordained him to do. It's our job. Huh? What he designed to do. That was he created to do. Our purpose is different. All right. That's what we're showing you today. Uh, read that, 21. Verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Because Cap quoted, and I was going to go there, but we, we quoted. You no, know, First Corinthians 3 and uh, 19, I think, right? The foolishness of this world is... Foolishness, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Right. Mm -hmm. They have no wisdom. There's nothing that you can show me that is going to profit me on being able to get the kingdom. Right. Okay? Unless you're coming out of this word. Right. Which they not. Because it's not in them to come out the word. Right. All right? The word wasn't given to them. All right? Keep going. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It, it, it said... Read one again. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. The word, the world knew not God, because the wisdom that the world understands is the wisdom of who? Man. Mm -hmm. Man is given the wisdom. Man has given your your uh, what's your purpose? That's what man's given you. Right. But that's not what God gives you. All right. Keep reading. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching mm -hmm. to save them that believe. Our job, which is foolishness to those that are the outlookers, okay, to see what we do, to look at us as foolish, to look at us as what these dudes doing on the corner, right. what these dudes doing in the library, what these dudes doing marching, what these, like in, in um, Chicago, you know, they looked at that and was like, what are they doing? That's why we got no, you know, they, media in a, you know. They not going to realize until it's too late. Right. They not going to realize until, like, um, Nor went into the, right. the art and closed the door. Yeah, it's too late. It's over now. That's right. That's right. So we are to teach the people. That's our whole mission. That's what this whole class is about, is waking up Israel. All right? Whatever avenue, whatever right. you're in, you know what I'm saying, whether you're an athlete, Actor, entertainer, whatever. Right. Regular old, as they say, Joe Schmo or the foolishness of this world. 
uh, as they call us, uh, whatever state you're in, it's about you returning to the Father. All right? Uh, go to Job 8 and 8. You got something? Can I pull something real quick while yeah, we're in, in Corinthians 3? To um, I know we 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 wrapping it up. We coming to a close. Um, Corinthians three and eleven. This is some the conclusion up. You know what I'm saying that I people have to be mindful of. Go ahead. The book of First Corinthians, chapter three and verse eleven. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. You see that no man came and died for you. No man deserves the the long life committed from right. you than Jesus Christ. That's right. A man who came on earth did no wrong and just came to be a sacrifice for you. Right. No man can lay that foundation. You understand? No man came and gave his life for a nation of people that really didn't deserve it. Right. It say no man can lay that foundation right there. No man deserve more praise than Christ. Yes. No man deserve more commitment, dedication to than what Christ have done. That's right. No college education, no basketball career, no no um you you chase everything just for your name can be on the ground. Right. The Walk of Fame. Mm. Right. Right in, in uh, California. Yeah. You work everything for your name can be on the Raptors in the building. Right. Your number hanging up there. You understand that? That's what you work all your life for. You cry and you blood, you have blood, sweat, and tears in. Because right. that's what they say. Kobe gave everything his blood, sweat, right. and tears to the Lakers. But guess what? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Guess what? If there's no United States and there's no basketball, there's no Kobe. There's no Michael Jordan. Right. right. You only is going to be relevant how long this country stay in power. Right. Right. How long they want you to be relevant. That's it. Now go ahead. Verse 12, now if any man build up this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. All this stuff is what we work for, we strive to have. Right. Everything. And we put over, he's showing you, you put all this over Christ. And you can take this class and be offensive and be mad and say, we don't know what we're talking about. What is your foundation? Is it Christ or is it something else? Right. Is it one of these things right here? And you know which, whatever you dedicate your life to, that's where your heart is at. A right. man, whatever a man let his treasure at, so is his heart. That's right. 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 And the Bible says store, uh, store up your, your, uh, your treasures, treasures in, in heaven. heaven. Seek so, ye the kingdom of heaven first. Right. So that, that's dealing with your works unto the most high God, the work that you do for him that he spell out in this Bible. If you're not doing what he tell you to do in this Bible, all the treasures you building up, they gonna be destroyed when when this when this uh when the nukes hit this country. That's what that's what I'm saying. The foundation. Don't get mad at us. Right. We just the messengers. Right. We here to provoke you to righteousness. That's it. So what is you putting your foundation over Christ? It just said, don't let no man lay nothing more than no foundation than Christ. Lay no foundation above Christ, and don't let none st silver, gold. Uh, precious stones, wood, whatever, your house, your car, all that is, is plastic, you know, gold is, is gold, silver is silver, right. and other precious metal, rubens, diamonds, whatever, it's nothing. Right. Go ahead. Verse, verse 13, every man's work shall be made manifest. Everything that you did, everything you desire in life is going to be manifest. You did everything for money, or you did everything for the love of the, of the Lord. Right. right. You didn't put nothing over Christ, but or you put everything over Christ. Mm -hmm. You may mm. you may Christ your footstool in your walking mat. Right. Go ahead. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Right. You see that everything that you put in your your thought in is gonna be burnt up. Everything, the wood, the silver, everything is going to be manifest if you love the Lord or not. Right. And those who, and that's why I say he's coming, his, his judgment is going to come back like fire. Right. And you ain't saying nothing. Your works is going to be manifest. What you did on earth, mm -hmm. you're going to be put to death. Right. E everything that you love, everything you dedicated your life for is going to be burnt up. Right. That's right. Gold can be burnt. Gold's melt. Silver can be melt. Wood can. You know how wood burn? 
they even have fire, fire extinguishers that to put out certain things that burn wood and certain things to burn paper, right. gas, oil fires, and things like that. Right. So wood is one of those things going to be burnt up. Yeah. Your house is going to be burnt up. That building with a raft is going to be burnt up. Hell, an earthquake, can, an earthquake can hit damn Hollywood and crack the whole Hollywood walk of, um, the walk of fame. Right. Right. That's right. And ain't no good. Um, let's go to Revelation 10 and 1. That'll be the last one. Because uh, at the end of the day, Israel, I pray that y'all got something from this. It's about acknowledging your forefathers, not taking and holding fast to what you've been taught. Because... We've been taught lies, you know what I'm saying? Colossians 2 and 8, you know what I'm saying? We've been taught philosophies of man. We've been taught doctrines of man. We trust in man, and man will be our demise, right? Our downfall, demise, our right. destruction, you know what I'm saying? Our death. But living in this earth, we, wanna, we don't want to die in vain. This, your whole life will be for vain, basically. Right, right. All that work you did, all that, everything that Kobe did, all these athletes, because this is not Kobe, but all these athletes and actors, so on and so forth, all of it was in vain right. at the end of the day. Right. Sorry to tell you, right. but it was in vain because it wasn't to, like Cap just brought out the foundation, it wasn't done unto Christ. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're bringing it back to you, to your remembrance, to say, hey, this is your whole purpose on earth. Right. Okay. Hey, Cap, I want to quote this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Was that Luke 14, 26, when he said, if you don't deny mother, father, Son, daughter, even your own life, and right. pick up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. You're not worthy to be my disciple. That's so right. that's the whole prevalence of don't ignore God. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wake up, Jacob. That's right. Ask yourself, what does dribbling a ball have to do with God? Nothing. It's simple <laughs> as that. What does what does that have to do with God? Right. Read that. The Book of Revelations, chapter ten, and verse one. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. Rome, and Romans 10 and 1? Oh, you said Revelation. Oh, my bad. Oh. <laughs> Romans. Yeah. I was in Revelation too. Romans. They both start with R, Israel. Sorry. <laughs> Romans 10 and 1. The book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is... That they might be saved. So you hear our beloved brother Paul, he's speaking about Israel. His desire is that Israel, Israel, the 12 tribes, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, that they be saved. All right, not this fairy tale of lies that the world has told us. Right. All right, keep going. Verse 2 For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. They have a zeal. Our people have a zeal of God because mm -hmm. the spirit is in them that God put in them because we have chosen people. Mm -hmm. But they don't know God. Right. They he, We find God in their mouth, mm. but they don't know him. Their actions, <laughs> you see nothing pertaining to this Bible in their walk of life. In, right. in their mouth, they say they, they love God, yeah, but right. in their actions, they reverence they, Esau. Right. That's right. Blonde hair. Oh, man, just... So much. Keep going. Verse 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness mm -hmm. have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. That's the end of it. All right. Our people have submitted themselves to their own righteousness, to a, 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 a law of righteousness. All right. What our oppressors has given us is to be righteous, to be right, to be good in the sight of man, in their own eyes. All right, Israel. So we pray y'all get some, got something from this class. And uh, if Lord willing, you know, we'll see y'all next Sunday. But uh, before we go, uh, remember to go to our YouTube, uh, rate, like, comment, and share it with your friends and family. All right? Um, as well, go to the Booster Club um, and become a member. All right? Uh, IUIC Fundraising. You can go and become a member. Um, all those funds go back to help the bishops, the deacons, captain, officers travel to the four corners of the earth. Right. All right. Um, as well as uh, OR, the original royalty. Uh, go there as well. You have posters. You have uh, music. You have fringes, water the blue. You got uh, a plethora of things that you can get, Bibles, apocryphas, to help 
support the nation. All right. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, keep brothers in the prayers. Uh, you know, uh, Officer David out here, Captain Dunn, uh, Officer Key Dunn, his family in uh, Atlanta, uh, Officer Solomon in Atlanta as well. Just keep everybody, all Israel, in your prayers uh, that we will continue to endure in this captivity and whatever illness or sickness that we're going through physically and mentally, we'll be able to overcome that through the Most High Mercy. All right? So with that is where we say shalom, Most High Christ bless y'all until next week. Shalom. 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 Shalom.